Hey friends, it's Dwight. I'm back in my studio today and I'm going to be doing another dump and swirl. Now I've been struggling for the past month, it seems like, with getting a good result of my pores. And I think it has to do something with the dump paint, um, the Artist's Loft uh, Soft Body Black. So I've been experimenting all week. Trust me, I've scraped probably eight or nine canvases and that is so much Floetrol, so much water, and of course so much paint. And nothing seemed to work. But today I tried something different. I'm gonna show you the whole video here in just a moment. And what I used was um, equal parts um, Artist Loft Soft Body Black to equal parts Amsterdam Black with extra, extra um, Liquitex pouring medium and Floetrol. And then of course water to thin. Now, the, the big part about this is how thin should I make my dump paint? Typically I keep it about the same consistency as my puddle paints. But today, I went a little bit thinner. So this is an experiment that's unfolding because I've had a lot of bad luck. I know I've posted a video or two recently, uh, but those were the wet results. And after I let it sit overnight, I don't know what to call it. It's like the, the paint fragmented and it just moved around the canvas. Now this painting looks a little bit different and so I'm really happy to show you at the end here. So please be patient and if you have any questions, feel free to ask um, in the comments below or you can email me at dwightpores at yahoo.com. Okay, friends, sit back and let's watch and here we go. Hey friends, here we are back in my studio. So I didn't go over the paints with you so I'm gonna show you those in just a moment here. Um, I did use DecoArt paints. I used a... Um, Calypso Blue, and I think I used a Bahama Blue. And the white paint is just Artist Loft Soft Body White. So this is another experiment today um, with um, trying to get the right dump paint. So I'm pretty sure um, and pretty confident that it's going to work. So I was just checking my consistencies before we got started. Again, I start with white on the bottom typically. And, oops, <laughs> I spilled some blue. Just want to pour some blue, kind of have it mix in a little bit if possible. Put white between the layers. And put some more blue down. Kind of mix the blues. Then add more white. And keep layering. So I didn't do a colander today, I just did a standard dump and swirl. And we get the rest of the paints in there. As you can see, it sort of mixes. Now, here comes the moment of truth, and that is my black paint. It's there on the left-hand side. And um, I'm gonna stir that up for just a second, make sure it's all completely stirred up. And we're about ready to get going here. Okie doke. I've done so many of these the past few days that I was like, please, please just work. Make me a happy camper. So I pour slowly so it doesn't disperse all of the puddle paints out, which means that I have a larger negative space. So slowly bring it over the edges. Now at this point, I didn't see any activity on the canvas and I started to get a little bit nervous, but I said, just bring it over the end stretch it over, and then I put it down and I saw all these popping up. I got really happy. So, move it around a little bit, just kind of recenter the paints the best I can. Just as a point of reference, you see some of the speckles that are in the middle of the canvas away from the edges. When I see some of those pop through, I'm pretty confident that the rest of the painting is going to go well. So guys, I'll stop talking here, I'll let you watch few more seconds and then the time lapse will um, have all the colors popping in. Okay guys, we'll see you at the walkthrough. Okay, friends, here we are with the final wet results. Now, 
formula that I mentioned earlier in the video worked really well, so I'm really happy. However, I have a few things um, on the canvas that I'm concerned about, but that has to do primarily with the consistency of my dump paint. However, it worked well together, and I'm not going to tweak it too much, but I have to continue to practice because, boy, I scraped so many canvases this week. So I'll show you some of the details up close. You can see all of these cells all throughout. It's really funny because this one, oops, here we go, focus, looks like this one up here. Well, different paints, um, different colors, but oh boy, I'm happy. It's been a struggle these past few weeks. And if you follow me on um, my YouTube channel, I haven't really posted anything. So the things that I have posted um, didn't dry well. And so my fingers are crossed that this will dry well. It looks like it's really stopped moving and that's the key. Um, and I love the black um, negative space there. So we'll work on that, maybe clean it up a little bit. And yeah, I'm hoping this dries well. So what I'm gonna do is continue to experiment. Um, I'm going to start my next video with the dried results of this. So if something happens, I'll show you um, both positive and negative results. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you again in the near future, maybe even tomorrow.